is Zoe from Some Pork, and today I'm going to show you how to make um, some slow cooked pork gyros. So, I've just got a 500 gram pork shoulder roast here. Basically, what I'm going to do is just take off the netting around the roast. Nice and easy. And we've got a very good looking shoulder roast. Um, the next step is to grab a big saucepan like this one and just pop the roast straight in. We're going to add a few different um, spices and some herbs to this just to give it a little bit of flavor while it's cooking. So I've got a tablespoon of smoked paprika. It's going to give it a lovely little smoky flavor. A teaspoon of celery salt. A tablespoon of oregano and half a tablespoon of thyme. A good tablespoon of cracked pepper and a good tablespoon of sea salt. I've got some ground coriander here. I've got about a teaspoon of garlic salt and a teaspoon of cumin. So this is where you can get dirty and just rub those spices all over the pork roast. Might unravel a little bit, but that is perfectly fine. Make sure you get inside there as well. Perfect. Now we are ready to sear this off and then I will show you the next step. nice and seared off on each side. We're going to add just a few more things and then we're going to pop it on the stove to cook for about four hours. So I'm just adding four cloves of minced garlic to this little mixture. I've also got three cups of chicken stock. So you're just going to pour that over the top a little bit more. Perfect. Now, the very last ingredient is just a lemon. And all we're going to do is slice it. Just rough, thick slices. It doesn't need to be perfect. Because we're just going to pop it into the stock as well for a nice citrusy kick. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to take this pot and put it back over um, onto the stove, low heat for four hours. Pop the lid on as well. It should be nice and um, tender. It should pull apart with the fork once it's finished. Okay, so the next thing that we need to cook for our gyros is probably the most identifying ingredient. And that is some good old fashioned potato chips. Now, you can make your own, but I found these awesome ones that are garlic, herb, and lemon flavoured. So I think that they're going to go pretty perfectly with the rest of the flavours in my gyros. So I'm just going to whack these in the oven um, 180 degrees, put a few extras in because they are my favourite. And we'll cook those until they're nice and crispy. All right, so our pork is fully cooked and it is just completely falling apart when I pop it through with my fork, which is exactly what we want. Okay. Let's pull that out. Alright, 
and we want to get rid of the rind that's left. That should just pull off. The next step is I'm just going to pop this into a fry pan. Fry. No. The next step is that I'm just going to pop this into a fry pan and just crisp up those edges so you've got a nice bit of crunch. it's time to put together the euros. So I've just got some packet made um, pita breads here. And basically what we're gonna start with is some tzatziki. Now I've just bought some from the shops but you definitely can make your own. It's super, super easy. So we're just gonna spread some of that on the bottom. The more the better. Then we're gonna pop some red onion in. Just nice thin slices of red onion, um, a few cherry tomato halves, some tabbouleh. This adds such a nice freshness to the euros. So it will be beautiful, perfect. Right. Um, I'm going to crumble over some fettel. And we're going to add in, well, probably more than we should, of some chippies, some potato chips that I've just baked in the oven. Perfect. Right. Now, top it with some crispy pulled pork. Oh, yum. Look at that. And also some lemon juice. Fresh is always best. So I'll just cut myself a little wedge. Get rid of those seeds. Don't want those in there. And just give it a light squeeze. Right. Let's just <laughs> roll it up as best you can. I may have overfilled it a little bit, but yeah, that's oh. mm. Yum, yeah, this is definitely a recipe to make for the whole family. 